Well, to be honest, I had the uh, smallest role in the production. So I think it's quite ironic that what happened happened to me <laughs> as opposed to anyone else. It was, it was kind of a surreal experience, to be honest. And it was like time just stopped. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, what's happened? Scene six, slate two, to take one. And action. Ow! Immediately just went straight over to him, just started holding a knife. I wasn't thinking. Um, my mind just went totally blank. It was that much of a surreal experience that I guess just everything just went away. I was just focused on this one thing, I was like, oh god. It was kind of like time just stopped at that moment. I like, didn't know what to do. The scream did sound actually fake, but when I looked over, it was just sticking out of his hand. Uh, me and Stage went to grab him so we couldn't fall over and Mason kept the knife upright since you're not supposed to pull it out or anything. And then we just waited for the ambulance, which never arrived. Instead, we got a police car. Uh, after it happened, I was literally thinking, is this real? Has this really happened to me? I just couldn't believe it. I just didn't know what to do, and I couldn't believe it had happened. I was that shocked. We called an ambulance. The police came instead because it was a stabbing incident. I went up straight over to Connor and just started holding the knife. I just looked at him as he started to faint, and I just stood there not knowing what to do. I lost my eyesight and I lost my balance, but I wasn't unconscious, I could still hear everything that everyone was saying, but um, that was the initial moment where I thought, oh my God, I could be in serious trouble here. But once I kind of came back from it, I was like, okay, things aren't gonna get uh, any better if I act um, scared or um, nervous. So I literally just made fun of the entire situation when I was there, just trying to keep things light. I was like, yeah, there's a knife in my hand, come take a picture. <laughs> Literally like that, so, yeah. And due to the ambulance being cancelled, we had to, well, Conor and Mason had to drive away by, by themselves. That was incredibly awkward. We just had to sit there in reception and everyone was, like, looking at me like I was the one who had done it. And I had to just sit there and go, it wasn't my fault. I'm just being a mate. Lift me up.